Welcome to SAU Magazine, a weekly news program coming to you from Southern Arkansas University in Magnolia. I'm Petronia Dixon. Our guest today is Sorrento Aubrey, Admissions Counselor at SAU. Sorrento, as a mission counselor, what are your responsibilities? Uh, mainly as the admissions counselor, we are freshman advisors as well as uh, almost like big brothers and big sisters to the incoming freshmen. Our main duties are to go and recruit students to attend Southern Arkansas University. Once you discover what school do you want to go to, what plans do you have for talking to those students? Is it just you want seniors only? Do you talk to freshmen? Do you talk to sophomores? Uh, mainly, I will talk to uh, anywhere sometimes from 8th grade to 12th grade, but our main focus will be uh, high school students from the grades of 10th through 12th, and we really place a lot of emphasis on juniors and seniors. In a more personal aspect, how or exactly when did you discover that you wanted to do this for a career? Well, after graduating from Southern Arkansas University, the first thing is to what? find a job and it just so happened that this position uh, came open about a month after I graduated and after I found out about it I applied for actually I applied for this position as well as a position at DHS and I said whoever calls me first that's where I'm going and it happened to be SAU. So exactly what is your degree? My degree was in sociology with a minor in marketing. And how long have you had the title of admissions counselor? I've been an admissions counselor for the past five years. Do you enjoy it or would you prefer to do something else? I really enjoy my job because I am a people's person and I prefer to be out and to uh, communicate with people face to face instead of sitting behind a computer for 40 hours a week and just dealing with the computer. And if you could pick any other job anywhere else in the world, anywhere else at SAU, what would it be? Uh, I would prefer to like stay on the college campus uh, and work with students. Uh, perfect title for me would be Director of Admissions. Uh, Admissions, uh, director of admissions or director of multicultural services. Do you think your degree helps you a lot or do you think it's a lot of things that you missed in your degree that you need in order to do your job now? Actually it worked hand in hand because again my major was sociology and uh, my minor was marketing. Sociology is the study of human behavior and marketing is dealing with sales. In order to make a sale you have to understand who you're selling it to so my major and minor went perfect with my position. Do you have any helpers that go along with you to pick out the schools and to tell the students any more thing about the schools more than from a male aspect? Do you have a female assistant or anybody else? Well, there, there are several of us that our title is a missions counselor, which consists of uh, three males and three females. Now, as we go and do college fairs or college programs, sometimes we will take a undergrad with us, which is a pre PA, which is a president ambassador, to give their uh, personal point of view on how everything is going with them while they attend the university. What are your personal goals as an admissions counselor towards the student? My main goal is to encourage students to continue their education after they graduate from high school even if it does does not mean that they will be attending Southern Arkansas University but my first and foremost goal is to get them to come here and even if they don't like I said I'll try to encourage them to continue their education. As far as picking schools, what areas do y'all look at? Do y'all look at mostly the South? Do y'all go for people who are mostly in the North? Do y'all do mostly international students? Who do y'all pick? Well, each one of the admissions counselors are assigned to a particular area, and my area consists of the Little Rock School District, the Pine Bluff School District, Eastern Arkansas, Northern Louisiana, and sometimes East Texas. And do y'all think y'all do a good job as far as persuading or encouraging people to come to SAU? Or do you think that the enrollment for y'all has dropped off a little bit here recently? No, actually the last couple of years it has been either steady or uh, going up. And that's a, that's a real good sign for us. So I feel that based off our numbers, we're doing a good job of trying to get students to come to SAU. Do you think that by getting younger students such as freshmen to go with you and tell other high school students about the school that it will help you all with your job career as far as finding people to come to SAU? Well, that, that helps, but basically it's based off uh, the admissions counselor and uh, me, uh, myself, since you know I'm not that far removed from some high school students, I can still relate to them. I think by myself I can do a pretty good job but if I'm dealing with a very large group at one time it does help to bring along uh, a student. 
Did you have an admissions counselor talk to you when you were deciding to come to SAU for a major and for a degree, or did you decide to go to another school and just more of family picking you, or how did you decide that you wanted to be at SAU? Well, when I was in high school, there was, I never heard of uh, uh, college fairs or admissions counselors, or there wasn't even any recruiters coming to our school besides military recruiters. But the way I uh, found out or knew about Southern Arkansas University, both my parents came to school here at, at SAU and both graduated from here. So that's how I had my knowledge of the university. If you had to change anything about the way that y'all approach the students and approach the schools, what would it be? Well, I, I think really, the way we go by doing things, I really don't have a problem with that. The only problem I have is the way counselors might uh, approach uh, us, well, the students, as far as helping them get as much information as, as they can about different universities. So it sounds like you really enjoy your job. You have really good workers that are helping you. You have really good students to talk to. So exactly how long have you been in this field as far as at the SAU from school level and still job position? How long have you been here? I uh, actually, from my undergraduate years to now, I've been around SAU for the past 10 years. And in closing, this has been a real good experience to learn more about the university as far as admission and entering student. We've been speaking with admissions counselor Sorrento Aubrey. SAU Magazine continues in just a moment. The SAU Broadcast Journalism Degree Program features a wide variety of professional experiences. Students are responsible for producing and marketing radio and television programs each semester. SAU Magazine, a radio news program, is available to stations in Arkansas and bordering states. The SAU Report, a television interview program, is available to cable systems in southwest Arkansas and northeast Texas. More than a dozen courses are offered in the SAU Broadcast Journalism Degree Program. Writing, reporting, and hands-on experience experiences are stressed in these courses. In addition, graduating students are more perceptive analysts of mass communication and broadcast journalism. They are very competitive in the job field and for opportunities as graduate students. Information about the Broadcast Journalism Degree Program can be found on the internet at saumag.edu. That's saumag.edu for an excellent educational opportunity. I'm Kareen Munley. We're speaking with John Garama, an international student from Kenya. John, what is it like living in Kenya? Describe Kenya for us. Well, Kenya is a small country uh, about the size of uh, Texas State, I mean, out uh, in the United States. Well, um, there are different aspects to, I mean, living in Kenya. There's the rural, uh, the, the, the people who live in the rural areas and then the people who live in the cities. So depending on, uh, I mean, w what they do, you know, and uh, in their normal day-to-day -day lives, you know, I would say I enjoyed living in Kenya. Um, and speaking for the people who live in the city, I mean, to the I was, uh, it was an active lifestyle, you know. Everything was always moving fast. Um, I went to boarding school. That was fun. And um, it's definitely different from life here. What made you come to SAU? Well, um, there's no particular reason that made me come to SAU. Really, it was by coincidence I did the TOEFL examination, and um, after the exam, it was a four. I remember it was a four-hour exam, and I was really exhausted after that. But one of the requirements for you to finish the exam is to you're supposed to pick four schools. So I just clicked on Arkansas because it was an A, and uh, picked four school four numbers, and SAU was one of them. And all these four schools sent me their brochures and. Uh, SAU was the cheapest, so I'm here. Now, um, you'll be graduating in May. Right. Um, what organizations are you involved in in SAU, and what's your major? Okay. My major first. I'm, a, I'm an accounting major. Um, well, I regress. I'm an accounting and computer information systems major, but I tend to lean more towards the accounting field. Um, uh, as far as in organizations, 
I've been involved in several organizations. I've been involved in the whole, um, in the Tally Hall Council. Uh, I've been involved in the Student Activities Board here in SAU. I've been involved in uh, several business school organizations. In fact, I think all of the College of Business ex organizations. Um, I've been actively involved in the International Student Association. Uh, in fact, I'm the current uh, serving president. So. As the current serving president of the International Student Organization, what message do you send to prospective international students and current ones? Well, SAU is a small school and everything, but then there are many things that you can attain and achieve from SAU. Being a small school, you get to interact with the teachers more oftenly as compared to your counterparts in the bigger schools. You also get to get your hands on very many opportunities that are available in the school uh, due to the fact that you can, you know, you meet your teachers all, you know, f very, uh, very frequently. So there are many opportunities that one can get here in SAU, but on the other hand, if you do not go out to look for these opportunities, then you'll end up staying here for four years and have, and achieve nothing in the long run. So, so um, what or what do you suggest that international students? What organizations do you suggest international students get themselves involved in? Well, I'll answer this question by just uh, giving them an example of what I've been involved in uh, and uh, the benefits that I've from it. Well, when I first came in to this school, I first of all, I first joined the in, uh, International Student Association. Okay, joining the International Student Association gave me an exposure to college activity, you know, um, the aspect of time management and the aspect of uh, the aspect of uh, juggling between your you know, books and prioritizing and all that. Um, other organizations that I would encourage international students to attain, uh, uh, join uh, things like the Student Activities Board. You know, one of the advantages of the Student Activities Board is that you get a $300 scholarship every semester. Um, we have the Residence Hall Association which also gives you a, a $300 scholarship, I believe, when you're an official. We have the Student Activities uh, Board, you know. And then there are many other prestigious organizations that students should always look uh, forward to um, joining. Uh, especially, they should always uh, make sure that they join uh, their major related organizations. That's because it gives a good impression to the business world. Now, um, y what position do you hold in the Student Activities Board? Uh, I'm the Special Events Chairperson in the Student Activities Board. What does that entail? That entails uh, coming up with uh, creative programs out of the normal uh, Student Activity Board related programs. Okay. Our guest today on SAU Magazine has been John Garama, an international student from Kenya. Thanks for listening. SAU Magazine is a production of broadcast journalism students in the Department of Theater and Mass Communication at Southern Arkansas University in Magnolia.